to uh, hey what's up whatever um so uh the previous video I, I did a stupid little taste testing just for kicks and giggles so i figured this time uh we would go into actually a little bit more history um and kind of more of a review on the beverage if you will the first thing that uh, most people think of whenever they either hear the name or see the label is their first obvious thought is oh it must be a dr pepper ripoff it must be another dr thunder or um, mr pib or one of those things um but it's uh, completely not at all as you can see it's in a green bottle um, so I figured that I would get a uh, clear glass and pour it into a clear glass so we could um, actually see the beverage itself. It's not a cola at all. It's not um, yellow like Mountain Dew. It's just a clear um, citrus lemon lime drink, much like 7-Up or Sprite. So the uh, uh, company mentions this as a um, lemon lime beverage. But uh, most people who would uh, drink it, their, their initial reaction is something else. Um, so we'll go to a little bit of history. Uh, it was originally formulated in 1949 by a, a man from Chicago named William Mark Swartz. Um, and he uh, felt at the time that the soda was a little too, I guess, unhealthy or whatever. And so he wanted something that was um, just less sugar water. Uh, so he formulated uh, Dr. Enough which is essentially um, soda, but um, unlike most sodas today, they're still sticking to the original formula of filtered water and uh, pure cane sugar, whereas almost all other mass-produced manufactured sodas have switched over to high fructose corn syrup, um, but uh, Dr. Enough still doing it the old-fashioned way with cane sugar. And uh, he uh, wanted it to be a energy booster, so uh, added caffeine, which sets this apart from most other lemon-lime uh, citrus beverages like um, Sprite, 7-Up, Squirt, Sierra Mist, and so on and so forth. It's because none of those have caffeine, which Dr. Enough does. Um, and then he wanted to add uh, vitamins and minerals to it um, to also add some sort of health effect. So we have um, vitamin B1 thiamine, vitamin B3 niacin, and um, potassium iodine. Um, so the, the initial taste you get is, uh, of course, just typical Sprite 7-Up whatever. But the thing is, is once it hits the back of your tongue, then the niacin kicks in. And you definitely get kind of a very faint metallic aftertaste. So it's kind of weird that he would add that uh, uh, vitamin into the beverage when it gives such a peculiar taste. And it's definitely an acquired taste, but once you acquire that taste, um, it's very addicting. So now that um, he's created the beverage, he needs to now bottle it. And so I went to some various trade shows and contacted various bottlers across the, uh, the nation. And he struck up a partnership with a little bottling company called Tri-Cities Beverage, located in Johnson City, Tennessee. And uh, the interesting thing about this is, I guess um, they were able to strike up such a partnership deal to where the money was just good enough to where he was just satisfied so he wasn't completely concerned with global domination i guess he was just concerned with making ends meet so uh with uh dr enough it's it's uh, very extremely regional so you can basically um pretty much only get it in uh, johnson city kingsport um bristol tennessee virginia some uh places in north carolina some places in west virginia and that's basically about it so it's an extremely regional um, beverage. I read online that you can also get them at Cracker Barrel. So I'm kind of anxious to go up the road and see if the Cracker Barrel here has any or if that's also regional, as in Cracker Barrels in those areas. So, yeah. And um, also another regional restaurant in the area, Pals, um, serves the beverage as well. So uh, you're probably asking, 
how do I have Dr. Neff? Um, I'm in Oklahoma. Well, would I know anything about it? Well, the, um, the Mrs., uh, she's actually from Johnson City. And so the first time I went and uh, met her out there, her dad kept on bugging me about uh, have I tried Dr. Neff, how to try Dr. Neff. And my initial response, just like everybody else, was thinking it was, you know, some uh, Walmart or, or Food City version of Dr. Pepper. Um, and then he got me a bottle and, and it was uh, quite an experience. So um, every single time we ever go to, to Tennessee, I always score a few. Her uh, parents came to visit here a few weeks ago. So um, bugged them to uh, bring some, a few bottles so I could, I guess, do a couple of videos and, and that kind of thing. So that's how I wound up with it. And you can wind up with it too. If you'd like to go to the website, I'll put a link down in the description. If you're so uh, venturous, you can also order some for yourself. So another interesting little factoid was um, a couple years after Tri-Cities secured the, um, I guess, recipe or rights or whatever you call it for Dr. Enough, they also started working on another drink with similar qualities. For some reason, I guess back in those days, they tried every angle they could to sell soda. And so for some reason, they were trying to sell Dr. Enough as a home remedy that uh, cures nausea, sore throats, um, uh, hangovers, and other nonsense like that. Well, Tri-Cities also developed another beverage, which uh, was touted as supposed to be really good at curing hangovers as well. And that beverage came to be known as Mountain Dew. And then uh, they sold the rights to Mountain Dew to PepsiCo. And so now Pepsi has the uh, uh, recipe and all that for that. But I thought it was interesting that um, a little podunk uh, bottling company in the mountains in Tennessee uh, developed Mountain Dew, which, which hints the name. And now it's owned by Pepsi. It's really not bad. Again, um, once you familiarize yourself with the peculiar aftertaste, then it just goes down uh, like nothing. <clears throat> so uh, let's talk a little bit more about these uh, vitamins and minerals. So this is uh, a little fun little point I wanted to point out. So in my es estimation, uh, Dr. Enough is pretty much the original Nuka-Cola Quantum um, because it uh, contains iodine uh, whenever the uh, nuke bombs drop, this will be your number one source for protecting your thyroid against thyroid cancer when the radiation starts to get to you. So uh, there you go. So if you want to avoid radiation cancer of the thyroid, drink plenty of Dr. Enough. So um, in conclusion, this is not the only flavor that they offer. They also offer a herbal variety as well, which is uh, kind of a cherry Dr. Enough. I guess it's almost like cherry 7-Up. So it's a cherry doctor enough and they add um, ginseng and I think guarana to it as well. And then they have a diet doctor enough and then they have diet herbal doctor enough as well. And Tri-Cities also bottles another beverage called Cheerwine, which uh, to me is basically about a, a cherry Dr. Pepper. Yeah, I don't have much else to say. I just wanted to give a, uh, I guess, a quick review and a quick history for those who were unaware. And again, I'll leave a link in the description so you can go and, and check it out and order some for yourself if you want. And uh, I guess cheers.